move back towards the site and make this a brief site take. Instead, it's going to be much faster as they look to fight on the site. Meteor good for one at least, keeping numbers in favor. But Dong, this man was impressive, able to constantly get behind enemies. But this time, he's taking them head on. Three kills already, and EDG are back in the round. A fourth just around the corner with Munchkin so desperately low. But Dong falls. Texture putting up one hell of a fight. Connections, another with the headshot on Smoggy. And nobody, 68 HP. Texture's gonna find it hard to get him dropped with two bullets left. He needs to be precise, and he has no idea where nobody has snuck off to. Texture creates some space to pop the reload. Back to six bullets. A bit more spam ability, and he's right in the corner! Only one shot! And he needed both to land. That is one to zero for EDG. To take a lot more control to get that plant down. In this sort of round, though, just a farming exercise. A chance for Kan Kan to really build up those orbs. You know what, Meat, he's still, he's still gonna get a couple. Try and turn this, they planted in an audacious spot. I guess expecting him to come around on the flank. This man has been a real showstopper when it comes to Gen G's success. And he might be able to get a second player planting. Definitely got a little bit tight for a second there. Looking to try and isolate one of these jewels, faking out the sound. But now know exactly where he is. Needs to try and drop one of them. And Haodong is waiting on the other side. Great start to this map from EDG. So he's just gonna have to run, and he will hightail it out, but there's been a catch in mid. Yeah, this is a big kill. Losing their utility, they're gonna filter back in very quickly on the side of Genji to take that space, but well. the cost is massive. Two kills and a big player taken down. If Genji decide, or if EDG, pardon me, try to switch directions, Genji would be blind to it. Up close here, Texture's already used his dash. There's no easy way out. And with the shot, not wow. hit! Nobody is punishing again and again! Lucky at the last man standing. Once the, the herald of this region, hey, it was all we heard about again and again. Oh, wait till he steps on the international stage. <laughs> well, doesn't look too good in this one. This one. Second time he's lost it, but he was given an opportunity. Nice shot from Meteor, though. Gonna go back in with the Sheriff, still just means a one-for-one -one trade, but Karan starting to step up. This is like to look doable as he gets a second off the back of the Guardian. And now that Bladestorm, at least a couple of knives should be online. Smoggy just waiting patiently. Little bro is going to give his position away, and eventually, finally, that knife comes through. The MasterCard Thrifty will... This needs to be at least a one-for-one -one trade, and I think he's going to get maybe even more than that. The only thing is the timing. There's that first, oh! but Smoggy comes around the corner. The hard check. Spike down A. Really saved the day with that one. Nobody's going to recon out after dropping Texture, making it up top, but Caron spotting it. And for EDG, the spike is now down. They've got plenty of control. The B side is theirs. But what are they going to do with it? Nothing without that spike. It's Kon Kon. One versus three. 20 seconds left. And it seems like this round is already over. Go. No, nope. the angle's a little off on Timmy. So he's sneaking his way through, but now he's being spotted. And with 12 seconds left, there is no chance to plant. They're just going to send one player. Well, actually, they're going to scatter in every direction, ensuring no matter what, yeah. he can't get all three kills. If it was anyone else, I think maybe there'd be a bit of confidence. You're going, do we want to face into Kong Kong? Nah, not really. They are going to hear the steps, though. <laughs> that, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's the exact reason why. So clean with it. But it's still be online. Instead, they're going to commit towards the B side Beautiful rather than going flash. to A, and it's worked out fantastically. Just Munchkin left. He's got some support on the way. Meteor just making it through the halls, but look who's right behind them. Nobody snuck his way in, and he's grabbed a quick double. The lead now convincingly in their favor, and with alert from Chichu, the final nails in the coffin for that round. Sick while now, but they just haven't really found any opportunities to actually be able to use them, and a lot of that is because they've stacked the right sites most times, and at least the lockdown and other stuff is very good for retaking. Again, they do a little bit of damage, but ultimately, Mitch, though, they are still going in this direction. Haodong needs to find something here, and he does. It leaves it down to just one player actually within the site. They have to go running in, though. Karan might be able to just ruin their day, and that's exactly what he'll do. Karan has to be careful. He got isolated last time. In fact, he's playing anti-flash, ready for it, and will even pick off that first kill. He's done extremely well. They know he's here, but the backup is covering him until he swings into Kon Kon. A dangerous play for anyone to make. One that well, was punished that time, but the trade is good. Two versus four. Munchkin and Meteor extremely low after that engagement. But what can really be done by just a lone gun of Smoggy? 
15 seconds or so to get that spike on the ground. And it looks like it will make it to the ground. Unfortunately, not planted. And assumably, the rest of the EDG squad will be following up with it. A full play towards the A site. And Lakia seems to be point of contact. It's nobody to find one with Texture down. Munchkin soon to follow. But EDG find a roadblock. Lakia just the one before he falls as the defensive side is now locked out. Two versus three. Meteor, okay, he's caught nobody up top. The spike's still not planted, but Smoggy <laughs> finds both kills to close this one out. Eight to four at the halftime. As Siga, it's been tough so far. Like you said, that, that get-go on Lackey, it's hard not to be drawn to. Oh, it, he's and, dead. Well, that's about as poor a start as you could get for the poor guy. He's got the one kill, no assists on the back of it, but his teammates looking to pick up the pieces here in the pistol. Already finding a lot of value is Meteor, and he's got right. backup. Even if they take him down now that he's super low or hear his steps running away, they should not assume that there's another player around here. It's free for Texture. He's also not being off to a great start. A lot of whiffed up shots, but this one, it couldn't get any easier. There you go, Smoggy down, nobody left. 1v3, Meteor low, but everyone else is healthy. And the time is on Gen G's side. This will be a Impressive clutch, to say the least. He's got the first already. Okay, maybe there is a chance. A Meteor down below. Because they lost Meteor, they don't actually have any flank watch. He is just walking up behind them. This is looking like some of the freest kills he's ever going to have. Manages the first, but now he's just a nuisance and continues to be a flawless round coming out of the side of EDG. It may have been. I don't know if Munch can caught the angle, but... Kankan definitely saw him, and here comes that double flash, but he's managed to avoid both. And Kankan, you can't allow him to survive in these sort of positions, just continues his aggression. Karan, the only one left. He does still have the spike. He's gonna try and get the reps off, but Chichu picks him out of the sky. And they've got a lot of control, but Genji have to be aware of this. And even as the turret comes back up for a moment, it's too late. They've already oh. gotten past. And it's Khan Khan, the danger man. Now operator in hand, dash online, blade storm in the back pocket, and he's making his way forward. He's making noise while the rest of his team come in to fill the gaps. And the players spotted up top. Ooh. That's an ambitious way to try and take that fight. Munchkin's actually got an opportunity now, but Smoggy saves the day for EDG. That Robbing them of their abilities if they're close enough, and a Viper's pick committed. So I said they need yeah. to reserve them. They have dumped them into this round with a lockdown being the only thing they'll carry through to the next. I don't know if they will. <laughs> That's the thing, if, if they keep it. Yeah, the judge investment, I like it from Munchkin. He's going to play a close corner within this Viper's pit. I feel like they almost need this one just to keep their economy strong, and they are utility dumping already. Tex just going to pick off one, but so much util thrown in to clear him out. It's easier said than done, though, as he takes out Chichu along with it. Nobody trying to clear this back line. Somehow, Khan Khan's found another. They may not get to use that ultimate at all, because they're being picked apart. It's left all on to Karon, but the time is ticking low. If he gets this kill, it's surely done, and it will be. But he's going to go down with it. That was meant to be an economy builder as they spam all their ultimates bar one. And they don't even get a single player out alive. The other side, so this this really is a very, very audacious oh! play. He's, he's dead, he's definitely okay. dead. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was maybe slight misinformation, but even still a filthy shot to open. The take in the meantime has come in onto the B site. Three players <laughs> oh, no. A single bullet tapped and Chichu just ruins his opponent they're not even going to get the spike down and now this is a problem things become so much more difficult the spam oh, through from nobody is so clean and now texture the hero the man that has been highlighted throughout this tournament so far he's got to find three to try and save them the spike is down nobody has already spotted him on the angle there is no hope edg come through with a dominant victory when it comes to map number one and they have their choice next